Hello party people, I want to talk about a vertical liquid airbox. You see two of them here, and they're sometimes also called the superior water locks. That's what the wiki calls them. And that's when the wiki is comparing them to these ones. They're the more traditional bulky designs. These are very robust, but also take up a lot of space. And a duplicant is basically climbing an obstacle course when they're moving past these. So these ones are much more elegant, uh, take up uh, uh, very little space. The big downside is they're not as stable. So if your duplicant is uh, flatulent, they will destroy these airlocks. Don't combine these. If your duplicant, apparently they can even just exhale at the wrong moment and then they could also destroy this uh, lock. So situations where it's safe to use this lock is if your duplicants are in Atmos suits, because then they'll not exhale outside, or in the cases where you don't want your duplicants to actually move across this lock, but you just want them to reach across it. So suppose you have a ration box here, you can put in a door here, forbid all the uh, dupes from reaching across, uh, sorry, moving across, but they could still reach across it into the ration box and then you can fill this with co2 or do some other tricks and that would work perfectly well now the trick in making these is that these locks consist of very tiny droplets of water uh, liquid so here you see 30 grams of brine and 20 grams of water and these are just single droplets so they won't spread to either side they'll just stay contained and well, the top one is just uh, sorry the bottom one is just sitting here the top one is not moving because it's attached to this block so the physics engine says then it stays in its place and these four blocks together are the liquid block and this is also the trick to making them if you can get your hands on these tiny blobs then you can just use a bottle emptier and create them here and it's super simple now getting these tiny uh, bits of liquid is actually also very simple i got a nice tip from reddit user maybe okay 8220 and i'll show you the setup but first we're gonna delete may because she'll be really unhappy by herself there and we'll spawn in a new dupe hello devon let's see devon are you uh you're okay so the way it works you probably have a pool of some liquid um, well at least a pool of water and then maybe polluted water brine salt water anything will, will work what you need to do is you just have to position a bottle emptier like this so that if it empties its content it will go back into the pool but there will be some block that will leave out some of the liquid and that will be our tiny droplet. So let's just show this in practice. Water at the bottle, and that will go to work. No, I will have to disable this. Spill, yes, okay. And now, if we mop this up, we'll have tiny bottles or bottles with tiny bits of liquid. And we can use this bottle emptier. We'll always set it to sweep only so that it will only collect the bottle I want. Ah. My droplet disappears. This sometimes happens. I've had this like one in ten times my droplet disappears, but no problem. We'll just create it again. Mm. Why didn't you want to grab brine? I do. You want brine. Yes. Speed it up a little bit so we can mop this up again, sweep it, 
and deposit. Yes. So this is our first droplet, and then we sweep this. And we say we need water. It will deposit the second one. There you go. Now, this can be useful for um, different situations, and one of the situations you'll run across is that you want to make a vacuum on this side. And the way to do that is to fill this side with blocks. And then later, once all the blocks are there, there's no more gas, and then you can destroy the blocks and leave behind the vacuum. If I do it like this, it goes wrong and the water here will creep under here. So this is one thing you have to remember. You have to build from the bottom. Luckily it's really easy to fix this. I'll set you to brine again and just sweep this. So here we have our brine again and now we can add our water. And our lock is back. Yeah, there's already a vacuum here, and now we have to remember to first build this one, and then we can safely build this one. And now, if I remove, I have to first remove the top one, and then the bottom one, and then we have a nice vacuum here. So that works, and this is also relevant in cases like this. So suppose you have. Um, you have some igneous rock and you want to mine it out and you have already created your lock but you don't want the chlorine in your base if i do this now i don't know which block devon will mine out first we're lucky that it's this one but if devon would have chosen this one then everything would go wrong so the correct way to do it is to don't dig out this one dig out the other ones first now we can dig out this one. And there you have it. You have a nice liquid lock, easy to make, and it can be very useful in the proper situations. So, that's all I have for you. Remember to have fun and make mistakes.